patient knows. Gordon Barbara, session one. Wake up, Miss Gordon. Wake up, injector. Another dose. I'm awake, you bastard. Good. Who is that man? Ask him when he gets here. Thank you, Miss Gordon. I was afraid that my preferred interrogation method would not be necessary. Do you know why I wear these syringes on my hand? Because you're insane? I usually disperse my toxin as an aerosol. It's efficient, but not pure. Now the terror I can elicit with a concentrated dose administered directly into the bloodstream, that is beautiful to witness. The long-term damage is more severe, of course. Are you done talking? I am, but you have barely begun. You'll be incoherent when my toxin dissolves the wall between your conscious mind and your suppressed subconscious nightmares. But as those fears slowly recede, they'll take this pathetic defiance with them. You're still talking. Very well. Get the fellow away from her. He's gone. Did he hurt you? Spare me the good cop, bad cop routine. No, 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 no. See, you're supposed to keep me talking. Play for time. Wait for Batman. That's what he taught you, right? I've got nothing to say to you. <laughs> I talked for hours, because I knew, right? Batman was on his way to save me. And the bastard just let me talk. Eventually, I just ran out of things to say. So trust me, you can't count on Bruce to save you. Bruce? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scarecrow doesn't know. It's our little secret. Now here's another. Batman likes to play the hero, Barbara, and he's pretty good at it. But it's an act. Batman's not about saving the innocent. No, no, he's about punishing the guilty. And don't get me wrong. He'll look for you, or he'll try. But when it comes down to it, when he has to make a choice between you and the mission, he'll choose the mission. Every time. You're wrong. Look me in the eye and say that. Jason? Jason, this is wrong. This is Justice. He left me. He lost you. And he mourned for you. Come home. I can't go back. You don't know what Joker did, Barbara. He hollowed me out and filled me back up with hate. And... Jason, we can fix it. I can fix it! I know now what to do. I take all this pain, all this blackness, and I put it all in a bullet, and I put it right between Bruce's eyes. Joker's dead, Jason. You want revenge on the man who hurt you? You've got one shot. Come back to the manor. Let us help you. Don't let Joker win. How's Alfred? He misses you. We all do. The cloudburst is charged, Knight. It's time. Someone put a gag on her. Anyone hurts her, they're a dead man. Tape 8, October 15th. Still no sign of the preacher. No records, nothing. Something tells me he won't stay hidden for long. For the Lord hath designed a most cruel and dark place. Yes, he has. It's where we put the heathen, the guilty men and women in his pavilion of pain, where lakes of fire burn and hot coals fall as hailstones from a black sky. You see, Gotham's days are numbered. I've seen it. He's done shown it to me. He's shown me the fire. He's shown me the bodies writhing in flames. Cause that's what's waiting for you. You who don't accept me into your hearts. I am the messenger of truth. For the Lord hath anointed me with his sacred oil. He hath separated me above all others and promised me and my children their rightful place in the new kingdom. Yeah, that's right. You will be made prince 
princes of all the earth. Amen. <laughs> Blackfire's sermons are getting worse. He's not waiting for Armageddon. He's bringing it. And I'm gonna be right there when he does. October 19th. Going back over some old interviews I did on Gotham's homeless. Numbers were dropping. No one knew why. And I think there might have been a link to Blackfire. My name's Terry Noonan. I worked the sewers best part of 20 years. You name it, I've seen it. Walls of fat so thick they'd swallow you up. Rats as big as dogs. Enough teeth and hair to give you nightmares. It's a different world down there. I understand you've got a theory, Mr. Noonan. Terry. Please. Some people like to think the homeless are disappearing because Gotham's pulling them out of the gutter. But you think different? I've heard things. Strange things. Voices. Chanting. Chanting? Like church. It's been like this for months. I hear it more often, and it's getting louder. Have you ever tried to find it? Hey, I ain't stupid. Besides, none of my business. If you were smart, you'd think the same. Newman went missing not long after this. Cops found his body stuffed in one of those giant fat deposits. They said it was an accident. I figure he found something he wasn't supposed to. What the hell are you up to, Blackfire? Tape 23, October 26th. I was searching the archives and this little gem cropped up. Cops arrest a vagrant who's had a run-in with Blackfire. Guess we're starting to get some idea what this whack job's been up to. Please state your name. I haven't got a name. Not anymore. We're his children. His disciples. Who? Deacon Blackfire. The one true messenger. The Redeemer. He can save Gotham. He can save us all. Well, he sounds like a nice guy. You mock me. You fool. You don't know the power you're dealing with. Okay, why don't you tell me? A thousand years he has walked the earth, and a thousand more he will reign. You're smiling. You think I'm crazy? Hey, you're free to believe whatever you want. I doubted him too once, and then I saw it. The blood is his power. He bathes in it. I'm sure he does. You can see it in their eyes when he draws the blade across their throat. They see it then. The light. Okay, buddy. Take it easy. I have to leave. We have work to do. The final sacrifice is coming. It will grant him everlasting life. Hey, sit down. Restrain him. Get off me. An army of homeless killers? Human sacrifices? Bathing in blood? I hope they're planning another sacrifice. You can't win the awards with our little human tragedy. Tape 25, October 30th. Got my hands on this forensic report. Human sacrifice. It's real. They're really happening. The deceased M. Hollis, located in the abandoned premises, front-facing room to Hammond Close. Male, 33 years, approximately 6 feet, 210 pounds, brown hair. Found lying face up on a table central to the room. Contusions on the wrist and ankles, indicating the victim was restrained with a thick cord or rope. The neck has been cut, deep incision severing the esophagus and main arteries. The body appears to have been drained of blood. Victim is naked. Clothes have been burned as well as personal effects. No sign of murder weapon. Symbols have been drawn onto the walls in victim's blood. Photograph locked. Seen secured by Detective Russo at 2100 hours. Something big's happening. Blackfire's here, I know it. He wants that final sacrifice, but where? I need that last piece of the puzzle, then bam, son of a bitch is mine. A big piece of the puzzle just fell into place. Lady of Gotham, that's where it's going down. I couldn't wait for you, Batman, sorry. This one's too important to miss. Guess you're wondering what the Lady of Gotham connection is. Turns out there was a black fire tied up with the Miyagani people. His name crops up in tribal stories. Seems like they shot him with arrows, shot him in a cave. You want to know where that cave is supposed to be? You got it. Directly beneath the Lady of Gotham. Looks like the irony didn't escape our preacher. Cash ran this guy's prince. Turns out he's got a past. 
tax evasion, fraud. One file dates back to the 20s. Cash thinks it's got to be a mistake. Part of me wishes Blackfire was telling the truth. I guess we all want to believe, huh? Too bad he's just another con man. Oh, don't you 
worry of. The guns will be loaded. Every bleeding second of this truth. Look at you. Getting claret everywhere. Look like you've done ten rounds with Grundy. Oh, my arm. I think it's broken. This had better be good, otherwise I'll keep you a matching pair. What happened? Oh, we got to the docks, like you said. All these men, they had the same idea as us. Someone warned them, didn't they? You, you dirty, filthy cross! Ah, boss, please! Someone got the job on all of us! They, they killed everyone! What? He went through us like we weren't there! I, I never seen anything like it! The Arkham Knight. He had a gun in my mouth. He said this was a family now. We all gotta get along. And he said you better know your place. Cheeky bastard. Hey, don't shoot the messenger, right, boss? Nah. I could break his bloody arm, though. <laughs> Gentlemen, boys and girls, the circus of strange is coming to a town near you. Never before has such a host of talented performers gathered in one place to amaze and entertain. Be astounded by Big Top. Is it a man? Is it a woman? Who knows? But I guarantee it's the most gigantically grotesque assortment of flash you have ever seen. Be dumbfounded by the acrobatic oddity that is science! Stare open mouthed as these conjoined triplets who defy the limits of the human body and its imagination. And last but by no means least, be stung and horrified by the combustible wonder that is phosphorus rex! Oh, you gotta see it! To believe it, come and join us, and you'll never look at the world the same way again! Yanasha, my dearest son. Oh, my perfect child, I make these recordings so that you are not alone. So that you know Daddy loves his son. Daddy loves his little pig. <laughs> and we have brought joy to many sad people. They join us now like a big family, growing week by week. Now they feel no pain. They know nothing of misery. I call them my dollatrons. <laughs> to each new home we move at night, finding a fresh patch of earth to inhabit. Secret places in forgotten parts of town. Ugly wastelands. <laughs> Where the locals tumble unawares into a candy striped tent. <laughs> the Dollatrons are the first to greet them with open arms and <gasps> perfect faces. The climax of the show is when I take them to see Mother. Oh, I tell you, they are amazed by my imagination, confounded by my dexterity as each is transformed into a beautiful work of art. But Mother is hard to please. She wants more, always more. Never satisfied, always driving me to work harder, to obtain perfection. And I will. Night has drawn its curtain yet again, and the circus moves on. Our numbers swollen to a different patch of earth. On the dark horizon, the building tops glimmer, the heat and smog of industry shrouds a den of criminals and beasts. Gotham is her name. Yamash, I'll tell you, the circus has come home. My dear Yamash, it is time you learned the truth about your mother, your real mother. I remember not her name or how she found me wallowing in that pit of despair. <laughs> oh, like an angel, she swept into my turvy world, dragged me, screaming, <laughs> from shapeless chaos, and wrapped me in her arms. She was a beauty, Yanosh, a masterpiece, perfect in every way, until Mother Goat found her. 
Imagine my horror when I emerged from that dreamy soup and discovered what she'd done. Placenta face, cork on smile, ribbons of ruptured flesh. Oh, the nails had done their work. But by then my seed was already sown. Your life already begun. Mother would have killed you both had I not stopped her. <laughs> Saved you from her rage. <laughs> Day and night I worked. Month after month. Sculpting her loathsome clay. To recapture the beauty that saved me that night. The night of your creation. She clung to me as you grew, as I toiled to make her right again. But nothing pleased Mother Goat! Nothing. I did all I could to fix her, to make her perfect. But by the time you came along, I couldn't even look upon that spoiled canvas of her face. I couldn't let that be the face that greeted you in this world. I had to end it, Yalosh. For you. For Mother. She left me no choice. You should invest in better guards, Crane. And you should invest in some manners. Who are you? Another pretender to the cow? Call me the Arkham Knight. <laughs> Another child of the asylum set free. Tell me, what tortured soul cowers behind that mask. It doesn't matter who I am, I'm here because we want the same thing. Batman dead. <laughs> you made short work of my guards, but Batman is a very different proposition. One for which I am fully prepared. Those guards I killed, I could replace them with an army. An army trained in his methods. Trained by whom? Me. And what would you know about Batman? His fear. Very well. You have my attention, Arkham Knight. Three billion is a significant investment. People are willing to pay. And what exactly would we be getting for our money? Tanks, drones, a highly trained infantry. You think you can just bring tanks into Gotham? We hold the city ransom. We create panic. Then chaos. A distraction. As they run scared, we emerge. Take over his habitat. Every rooftop, road, and back alley. We draw him out of the shadows and chip away until he has nowhere left to hide. And no one left to hide behind. If you want him dead, why come to me? You seem capable. He needs to suffer. I suffered, so he will too. So, it's personal. Well, there are many in this city with a gift for causing harm. Not that kind of pain. The real kind. Huh. You want him afraid. I've seen what your toxin does. I want that. You're well informed about all of us, Arkham Knights. But you're wrong about something. I don't want Batman dead. I want him unmade. He's better off dead. Kill him and you martyr him. You make him a legend. But break him, humiliate him, terrify him, and hold him up for the world to see. Then he's nothing but a man. Look, you can do what you want, Crane. But when you're done, I will kill him. Very well, but know this, it will be an act of mercy when you do. Damn it! Sorry, sorry. Dropped it. Jittery hands. I keep thinking someone's gonna barge through the door at any moment. The scotch probably didn't help. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? My name is Alex Satorius. Dr. Alex Satorius. And this, uh, well, I suppose this is my confession. Twenty years ago, I went into business with my friend and business partner, Simon Stagg. Oh, 
It feels strange talking into this thing. I've never been one for the limelight. Never cared for attention. He was the businessman. I was the scientist. Stag Enterprises was a fine name by me. And we did fine work, too. I want you to remember that. Whatever comes out. The cure for the Tugela virus. That was us. The treatment for Collier Syndrome. That was us, too. No. Not us. That was me. I never cared about the financials. Of course, I never needed to. Don't you worry, Alex, Simon used to say, and I believed him. Believed him right up to the day he told me there was a big, gaping hole where next year's budget was supposed to be. I wonder... Now, of course, if he was lying. I mean, can you blame me? If, if he had just come out and asked me, I'd probably have said no. I, I, I'm no bleeding heart, but if there'd been no need... No. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? These anti-anxiety meds, they, 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 they rattle your brain. What I'm trying to say is that day, the day we ran out of money, that's when the weapons contracts began. Hello? <laughs> yes, yes, hello. I am in a better mood today. I've discovered a pharmaceutical cure for paranoia, you see. You put the anti-anxiety pill straight into the whiskey bottle and you swirl it around. <laughs> oh no, uh, where was I? Oh yes, chemical weapons, biological weapons, oh wonderful things. We went into business to save people, but it turns out that killing them paid better. Not well enough for Simon though, that greedy, grasping parasite, that bastard. There, there, there are many buyers for this stuff, you see, not, not legal buyers anyway, so you have to be competitive. But how can you do research quickly when human testing is illegal, not to mention life-threateningly dangerous, unethical, unfathomably risky? Well, well, it's obvious. You do human testing anyway. <laughs> he, he, never, he never told me where they came from. Just that no one would miss them. You think I want forgiveness? You, you think this is some desperate mea culpa? I was raised Catholic, but I chose science over faith. This is not about me, this pathetic, drunken confession. I struck my bargain, let him threaten me into silence while I worked on my vaccines my cures. So don't judge me, whoever you are. Whichever junior reporter at the Gotham Herald was lucky enough to press the play button on this device, no. This isn't about me. This is about him. He's gotten worse. We're a pharmaceutical company in name alone these days. It's all weapons. Some to the army, even more to the people the army's fighting. And now Scarecrow's here? I know what they're doing. They're taking my technology, my mass inoculation device, and they're turning it into something twisted, something wrong. Well, I won't let that happen. I won't turn a blind eye anymore. This confession will be my epitaph, the proof that I was not content to weigh the good I've done against the evil done by him anymore. If you were listening to this, Dr. Sartorian, Mr. Stagg would like a word. <laughs> 